welcome right now. We are in GTX 2022 Dubai and with me is Anshul from Autonomy. Yeah. And Hi. Uh, Anshul, so tell us more about this. What about 2.0? Yeah, so uh, we at Autonomy make these autonomous curbside delivery robots. Okay. And these, these are our autobots, what we call them. Mm -hmm. So these cater the last mile delivery use case in terms of the common people, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, the best example can be, let's say you want something from the restaurant to be delivered to you. Yeah. You order it. You need some groceries, you need something from the medical store, yeah. you need to get a package picked up from somewhere mm. around your locality, right? You need not go out, just book it, book an order for it. This robot will go pick it up from the place, mm. it's fully encrypted so that guy will get a code, he will put it into it, then he'll put the stuff in it, into it, it will fully autonomous navigate through the curbside, bring it to your doorsteps and again the encryption comes into play, you get a unique QR code or a pin to open it up mm. and untouched by anybody in between, it comes to you directly to your doorstep. Okay, so yeah. how many distance it can travel and what is the average weight you can put inside this? So right now, like the distance as per the uh, norms and the battery life and considering everything, we okay. do it up to 5 kilometers in radius. Okay. And the payload cap capacity of this particular cabin storage is 60 kgs okay. right now. 60 to 70 kgs, but on a good figure, it's 60 kgs. And uh, the speeds around which it can move is approximately 10 to 11 kilometers per hour. Okay, so how is the programming done? Because suppose I'm ordering from my home yeah. and from a nearby supermarket. Okay. And how is it programming uh, to reach it to my uh, destination? So uh, there are two things like uh, yeah. the robot software takes care of the, uh, you know, the traveling and everything on its own. Yeah. The ordering experience is basically dependent. Like yeah. we have clients who have their ordering platform. so. They can integrate our robot with themselves okay. and if there is somebody who needs like multi-platform solution, so we have our own solution also. Let's say there's a big uh, compound where there are restaurants and grocery stores and all. So if the community wants it, let's say the supermarket or somebody wants us to enhance this feature for them, we can integrate it with their ordering platform and okay. the order will be instead of assigning to a delivery partner who is a human, it will be assigned to the robot. Okay, so, so you told that it's 5 to 8 kilometers. It can uh, 5 to uh, 5 kilometers radius approximately. Yeah, okay. So suppose I'm uh, ordering a food and I need it, you know, uh, within that temperature. I don't yeah. want to make it very cool and I want to eat it very hot in a, okay. that temperature. So how is it going to be possible uh, with that? So uh, the best part about these, uh, this series, this is our Autobots 2.0 series. So these cabins which we have, right, these are swappable. So let's say uh, somebody needs uh, something to be delivered very cold, ice creams and all. So we can put cold storage in these cabins. Okay. There are separate cabins for that. Okay. You need something normal, grocery staple foods, right? Let it be in this normal one. This is insulated, so it won't be like heated and all uh, from the outside temperature and all, but it maintains the normal temperature, room temperature, right? And if you need something which is hot and it has to go because the delivery timings are usually less than 30 40 minutes right okay. so it doesn't affect that much but some items which need to be hot we can uh, introduce some heaters into these cabins so these cabins are completely customizable as per the customer requirement okay so how is it na navigated to the location are so it does it fully autonomous like uh, all the sensors and the, our software stack basically the software does it on its own okay. so as for the outdoor outdoor environment the gps and everything like uh, just uh, in any ordering app, food ordering app, you put your address and a GPS pin location, right? You can do the same thing. It will navigate on its own and through the GPS and the street and come to you. Okay, it's commercialized right now and uh, yeah. uh, where are the, right now, where are the markets? Which are the markets right now? So right now, we are live at two major airports, one in the US, one uh, in Italy. So the US airport is Cincinnati airport, the CVG airport in Cincinnati okay. and the Rome airport in Italy. We are live there. Cincinnati airport, we have been uh, live for a year now and Rome we just got live a month back and this usually happens after a pilot of three to six months and then we go live there and there are numerous numbers of pilots going on for outdoor last mile deliveries in various regions of the world sometime soon, uh, soon uh, like the live uh, deployments will be announced on that areas also we are across the globe across Europe US in the Middle East also somewhere some places we are actually doing pilots right now okay. So can you imagine a robot bringing the foods in your home and this is possible right now and we are here right now in GTEx 2022 Dubai. Stay tuned for news and updates. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.